Hello everybody, this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to Quick Tip Friday. Today I'm going to be show, sharing some tips with you relating to using sewing machine needles while you're quilting. Tip number one is to be sure you're using the correct needle. There are different needles for different types of projects. For example, if you're sewing with denim, you need to be sure you're using a denim needle because denim is a tough durable fabric so you need a tough durable needle so the blue jean needle is different if you're quilting quilting requires a different needle also so um, there is an app called the Schmetz app I'll put a link for it in the description below and that app will help you to um, maybe better understand what needles you need for different projects also, if you're just needing more information about sewing machine needles, you can watch the video above. It's a great video I put out um, several months ago, but it, it's, it really, I learned a lot about sewing machine needles when I did that, so that's one you might want to check out. Tip number two is to change your sewing machine needle frequently. Um, this is something we sometimes fail to do, and it really can affect your stitch quality. So um, I try to change my needle after every big project that I do just so that that, mani that needle stays sharp. When that needle gets dull, it's not really something we can just see with our eyes, but if you look at it under a microscope, it will show dulling. And again, it does affect the stitch quality. Now tip Number three is to put a label on your sewing machine when you change that needle, just to help you remember. I, I can't remember when I change these from day to day, so I just stick a little label right there. Tip number four is to be sure you remove the pins as you're sewing. Don't, don't sew and hit those pins. Sometimes if you hit a pin, your needle may not break, but it does dull the needle. So um, be sure, again, to remove the pins and don't sew over the pins. Now I've shared this tip with you before in my other videos, but I, this is an important tip for me and I use this all the time. If a needle breaks, dispose of it in a little plastic container that's safe for all those who handle your trash. Tip number six is, if that needle breaks, be sure you find all the pieces. Uh, sometimes those little pieces can get down in your machine and cause lots of problems. So again, if it breaks, when you get the piece out, be sure you've got all of the pieces so that your machine doesn't get damaged from a broken needle or a piece of one that's fallen down into your machine. And the last tip again is one I've shared before, but um, these lockables, they're called lockables. These make great storage containers for all your needles. There's different compartments which allows you to store several of each different type of needle in your case. If you have a tip regarding using sewing machine needles, please leave it in the comment, in the comment section below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, share with a friend, and as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments and I try to reply to each and every one. So until next time, have fun quilting.